always came to ask about addition polymerization and condensation polymerization. So on this one, I'm going to look at condensation polymerization. What happens in condensation polymerization? A small molecule is given off and molecules join together. So you're always looking for, in a molecule, if it's got an OH and a C double bond, OH, so car uh, carboxylic acid and alcohol, you're going to get polyesters. If it's got an amine group and a carboxylic acid, you're going to get amides, polyamides. What are you looking for? Well, let's say, um, let's say I've got an alcohol, let's go for CH3OH, and I've got carboxylic acid, ch 3 COOH, they will react together to give me an ester. But if I've got a molecule, let's say this, that's got a alcohol and a carboxylic acid on, well this is going to react with itself. This is polymerization. So what we get is a C double bond O O. That is our ester linkage. That's what you're always looking for when the esters join together. So in this, I've got this here. What happens for this one is that that hydrogen comes off, and that would be part of one end of the monomer, and then this, the double bond O there, and that is the other part of the monomer. So you've got those two parts. So look at this ester linkage. That C is that C, double bond O. What's going to go at the other end? This oxygen. What's next to that oxygen? A carbon with two hydrogens. What's next to that? A carbon with a double bond O and an ester linkage. What have we got this carbon here? That's that carbon there. Next to it, we've got a CHH. What have we got next to it? An O. Like so. so that is two repeating units of our polyester from this one.